we now take a look at the all courageous kids and families battling cancer. When you witness everything and you see the, the fight for the kids' stories and they come up on stage and you see kids from the past come back and you see that they're stronger and the, the smiles in their faces, but at the same time, when you hear um, that they are sometimes stronger than us as adults in the audience, uh, you walk away saying, oh man, why was I worried about, you know, that red light, why was I stressed about this? Why was I concerned about something so trivial about, you know, that I got the wrong coffee or, it, it, it puts everything into perspective. And, and a night like that, you can learn a lot from the kids that are in the audience that come up on stage. What Dick calls his uh, all courageous team. Um, it is a team that uh, he would like to stop having to coach someday. Yeah. And that's what that night is all about. Uh, what Jimmy V challenged us to do 25 years ago was to find a cure for cancer. Uh, and through the efforts of Dick and Lorraine, the honorees, and yourself, um, that day I know is coming. And, and I want to say one other thing, because I think you would agree this, to this. Dick Vitale is a Hall of Fame broadcaster, yes, he is. Hall of Fame, former NBA coach, well known in the business. This and for him and Lorraine is their greatest legacy. Uh, no question. Year in, year out, they're always there for the V Foundation. Couldn't agree more. Nobody has done more to continue Jimmy V's legacy than Dick Vitale uh, and the legacy that he and Lorraine will leave behind in their own right is a special one. Absolutely. It's going to be great to have you back on the Sun Coast. Yes, can't wait. May 11th. Yep. Looking forward to it, Kevin. Thank you, Ray.